Maasai people know how to survive in Africa's hazardous environment. They've thrived in East Africa for centuries, despite the deadly forces pitted against them. The Maasai way of life puts them in direct conflict with Africa's top predator, an animal that has perfected the art of killing. On this continent, the most feared of all creatures, the African lion. Anybody in the wrong time, the wrong position, is gone. Because lions are not going to um, just bite you or scratch you and run away. Lions are going to hold you until you no longer can move. Few predators compare with the lion's size and strength. A male weighs well over 500 pounds and can easily take down a buffalo twice its size. Like the hyena, African lions work in groups and this gives them an edge over almost any prey, animal, or human. Their hunts are more successful than most other single predators because they have that pride mentality. They work as a team. The females mastermind each attack. They lead hunting prides of up to 10 members, working as a unit, each lion, with a specific job. They get into like a huddle, it's like they communicate, and one lion says, okay, I'm gonna chase the prey this way. You wait behind this tree. It's like a tag team offense that they use to capture their prey. It really is quite remarkable. Stealth, strategy, common purpose. It's a deadly combination. But sometimes even lions need their match. Only man can take on this killer and win. And for the Maasai, taking down a lion is the ultimate test of manhood. The Maasai are ranchers, raising cattle across eastern Africa. In Maasai society, cattle are wealth. They see lions as thieves who prey upon their livestock. So killing them is the ultimate mark of prestige for all Maasai warriors. The Maasai live in a lion's kill zone, and they are always on guard. They surround their villages with nature's own barbed wire, a thatch of thorn bushes six feet high with barbs two inches long. This is their fortress, and it's usually strong enough to keep their cattle safe. The Maasai are worthy adversaries, and lions have learned to steer clear of them. Believe it or not, lions through the generations have learned to understand, these guys can kill me. Um, and they've learned to actually, I believe, inherently fear the Maasai walking across with the red robe. Because for so many generations, their predecessors were speared. But some lions don't fear people. In fact, they seek them out. They are rogue lions that develop a taste for human prey, man eaters. They're basically just sort of relearning that actually we, we can be prey and we can be eaten and we're quite easy compared to the other things that they're, they're looking for. In southern Tanzania, rogue lions have killed some 600 people in the past 15 years. We see these outbreaks happening over two to three year time period and it tends to be the same group of lions. So it actually does become a behavior where they're actively hunting humans. A rogue lion is a formidable killer. It stalks its human victim, singles him out, and strikes like lightning. killed by suffocation, so it tries to get its prey to the ground as quickly as possible. The lion's canine teeth fit almost perfectly around its prey's most vulnerable area, the neck. This critical area that the lion knows where to go for it can cause the most damage. The trachea is disrupted if it's cracked or fractured. Uh, you have problems with getting air in. Slowly, life drains from the victim. 
once the struggle ends the feasting begins the lethal standoff between mass i and lion is just one of many life and death struggles on the african savannah